Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dirk Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the performance of the Tech Perfect Cell unit after his Extremes Awakening. And I think he's a pretty good unit. Uh, he's going to look very interesting. Obviously, you know, Tech type lead, that's all fine. But massively raising attack and defense, which is huge. Attack and defense of 200% with Extreme Class Allies getting key plus 3. Attack and defense of 30%. An additional 10% for characters who belong to artificial life forms or tournament participants. Then he gets an additional attack and defense of 100% when attacking if there's a superclass enemy. Debuff superclass enemies and then also gets 30% damage reduction when facing a singular superclass enemy. So obviously a little bit niche uh, to kind of meet all the restrictions guaranteed super attack against multiple enemies. But the thing is what really really makes him super duper good is that 30% damage reduction that support and that massively raising attack and defense so if you can get him to like double fire supers i think he'll have like around 600 700k defense with 30 percent flat damage reduction which is honestly pretty good like if you have all things considered in terms of build uh probably if we're going like full on support based build i would probably say you definitely want to look at additionals maybe evasion to really kind of hammer home the defensive security of him. Remember he's providing a flat 40% boost and that helps our players a lot across the board. Uh, two characters of that category. But he also has a flat, sorry, he has a flat 30% and he's providing 40% to characters of that category. So he is a really, really good unit. That has a ton of great utility. And I think like the numbers aren't looking too bad. Uh, five, six, or so million at a rainbow level with links leveled up and with big bad bosses active you can get that to you know over seven million which i think is pretty good with equips on top of that as well defensively you can also boost those numbers uh you can start getting them to like the 220 230 240 bracket and i think that also is very good remember massively raising attack and defense doubles the defense that you have so your defense if it's 240k becomes 480 if you double super that then becomes obviously uh, 720 remember the, the defenses don't double double so for example if you are doubling at 200k you are then with another super attack tripling at 200k you're not you know doubling the 400k um, but overall looking really solid yeah like I say very good numbers good performance the big thing the big hindrance for him actually weirdly enough right now is the fact that he is obviously a cell character and cells are actually not in the craziest space right now fortunately he does fit under zamasu's lead and he is an extreme support so you just basically have to trigger big bad bosses for him and he should be good to go um you don't have to openly cater towards him you're getting a lot of benefits uh like his support functionality you know and everything like that so there are a ton of benefits that you are getting from him that aren't just, you know, like um, any time benefits that you know from him that aren't just his raw output. Um, so I think overall, really, really good stuff. Excellent looking unit. Functionality, really nice. 7.1 million, pretty solid. Uh, and I think the utility that he provides is good. The percent damage reduction isn't going to get him, you know, super far. Um, it's not like it's going to make him a flat out tank. But it means he'll be able to handle normals and a lot of hard content. And so if you're just running him as a floater, uh, maybe a second slot in certain situations, I think you'll find that he works out really well for you. But that's just my opinion. Um, all in all, I think he's a good choice as a unit. I think he's a solid easy A. I think extreme teams needed uh, another kind of good support unit. Um, and I think he can fit that bill without necessarily being um, too OP himself. Um, yeah, all in all, I think you'll get a lot of good value out of him as a cell unit and just be, enable him to help you out. Of course, in terms of links, because he's a cell unit, you know, Messenger from the Future, Gentleman are all pretty solid, but we're looking at Big Bad Bosses mainly. Uh, we've got Big Bad Bosses. We don't have Fierce Battle because he's a World Tournament unit, so there are some limitations on him. And I think, like, ultimately, if you can just trigger big bad bosses, probably find that you're okay. 
uh, Messenger from the Future, things like that are all just relatively difficult to get. So if you can get trucking speed, big bad bosses, um, most times you'll you'll turn out you'll come out alright. If you can't get trucking speed, it's also okay. He is also a support, so even if you're missing a couple links, as long as you got big bad bosses and you couple it with his support, you're already looking at like um, yeah, thirty percent support and twenty five percent for big bad bosses. So you don't need to worry too much about who he's paired up with. Uh, they'll get the key from the support uh, and come out a rat. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Cell looking good, looking great, and I think another solid World Tournament easy aim. They seem to always come up with one really, really good one per World Tournament, uh, it seems, so it's looking really solid, and I think Cell is very, very good. So that's it from me. See you guys in the next one. Till then, take care, and bye.